Hi everyone, this is a short presentation about our RSS paper, Path Planning for Multiple Tether Robots Using Topological Grids. Tether robots are robots connected to cables, which supply communication link or power supply to the robots. Multiple tether robots are very useful. The right videos shows multiple tethered area robots collecting fruits and multiple underwater robots collecting sea trash. However, multiple tether robots are prone to entanglements. Therefore, our objective is to design a path planner for multiple tether robots to move from their initial positions to the target positions. Existing works that address this problem either rely on realistic cable model which are fully stretched or provide no guarantee for known entanglement. Our key contribution is using the knowledge of topological bridges to identify entanglements among tether robots. The topological bridge is a type of topological object that can be expressed in diagram and algebraic ways. The top right figure shows two braid and a three braid, which are braids consisting of two and three strings respectively. The important property for us is that in braid, we do not care about the shapes of the strings, but rather care about the crossings among them. That's how a braid extracts the topological property from a geometric object. So how are the braids related to the tether robot? Here, we show the overview of our approach. First, consider a set of tether robots with the cables as shown in the top left. We can establish a topological equivalence between the cables and their space-time trajectories. Space-time trajectories are basically plot of robot's movement in the xy plane with z-axis being the time, as shown in the top right. If we have a projection plane and project those trajectories onto it, we can analyze the crossings among those projected tra trajectories and eventually obtain some braid representations specific to this projection, as shown in the bottom row. So how are the braids useful to identifying entanglements? Our key finding, as written in the lemma here, is that we can always identify entanglements by looking for some specific patterns in the braid representations of the projected trajectories. There are some technical details related to the choice of projection plane and the proof. Interested readers are encouraged to read our paper. Now, given that we can identify entanglements, how do we generate known entangling path? In this paper, we, project, we propose a method called planning on permutation grid. We extract the robot's 2D configuration space into a permutation grid, which indicates the order of the robots in each axis, as shown in the left figure here. The problem now becomes finding a set of crossing actions that lead to the target permutation from the initial permutation under the condition of no entanglement. To do this, we search in a graph of permutation grids where each graph node is a permutation grid and an edge is a crossing action between the adjacent robots. A node will be discarded immediately if its braid shows no entanglement. Eventually, we can find a set of crossing actions which represents a feasible path topology to go from the initial configuration to the target configuration. Simulation and flight experiments are conducted to verify the proposed method. In this video, 10 tether drones are simulated to reach randomized goals. We can see the robots are moving in a grid-like structure because the path generated from the permutation grid is directly projected onto the real grid space in the workspace. Simulation of different number of robots are carried out and our approach is the only one that can achieve 100% success rate for all scenarios. In terms of computation time, our approach can generate a feasible non-entangling path in less than one second for seven robots. Real flight experiments using three drones shows the proposed approach is also applicable in real workspace with realistic power cables. To summarize, in this work, we propose a novel path planning approach for multiple tether robots leveraging topological bridges. Our approach handles the slack cable model and it guarantees non-entanglement unlike existing works. Simulation and experiments are also carried out to verify the effectiveness of the approach. Our future work will try to address the issue related to the long path length of existing approach and the lack of consideration for static obstacles. Thank you for listening.